We are in West Yarmouth, Massachusetts, at the historic Baxter Grist Mill, um, and a fish run that we recently reconstructed. This site is uh, the site of a historic mill, the Baxter Mill. It was established in 1710 and was in operation for over 200 years of milling grain and corn. This mill pond actually was impounded by a development of a dam at this location at which the mill was established uh, to try to ensure water flow for the milling process. There was a, uh, an old fish run next to the mill uh, that was not working very well. The latter was not very efficient. It was much more difficult for the fish uh, to get up to the spawning area, which is the pond uh, off to the side here, which actually leads uh, through another channel up to a much larger spawning area. A fish ladder, it's to bridge a stream area up into a higher elevated uh, pond or section of a stream or river. Um, it could be because of a waterfall, it could be because of a man-made structure, uh, but you need to, those fish need to go up a certain elevation that they could not do naturally. The fish that we are concerned with are two types of, of freshwater, saltwater herring, uh, the river herring and blueback herring. And they uh, come in in the spring, uh, spawn in the fresh water. Unlike salmon, they don't die. They then return to salt water for the rest of the year. When the eggs hatch, the small fish called the fry, uh, after they get to a certain growth point, migrate back down the channel through the ponds, the fish run, and out to salt water. These two particular species are at the bottom of the food chain out in the ocean. And so uh, they feed a lot of the fish that we actually directly consume. The old fish run was removed. There was a considerable amount of setup work um, that was done to manage uh, water flow while the project was being done. A lot of concrete was poured many measurements taken to make sure that the uh, specifications were being followed. The new ladder uh, was recalculated and relayed out to increase the ladder length uh, by about 20 feet, which allowed us to lessen the slope of the ladder system, increase the pooling areas below each ladder step uh, to provide more area for the fish to rest as well as to you know, continue up the ladder system. Uh, we are also able to control water flow depending on water levels in the pond by replacing the different baffles and the shapes of the baffles to better uh, direct the flow so it would provide a, a, a more easy access up into the pond. The project was done as part of the Cape Cod Water Resources Restoration Project which targets three particular uh, areas. The first is uh, restoring salt marshes that have degraded due to restricted tidal flow. The second is stormwater runoff control and treatment, where the runoff after heavy rains would uh, go into the receiving water and uh, prevent uh, commercial and recreational shellfish harvesting. And the third is the restoration and improvement of anadromous fish runs, which is what this project is an example of. Uh, I've had a tremendous relationship with NRCS on other projects, and this was a natural fit when this opportunity did come up that we were going to need to do work on this dam, and NRCS has been wonderful work with, and they were a perfect match for this project, and um, we were able to develop that partnership.